Daniel, olen brasilainen, mä olen estis kuni koks tuhat kuus astat ja mä totasin, mä tiedän, neli erinevät firmat sin ja mä lagin natukene kuida zon olla valismalani ja estis totaman, kun mikä zon hea ja mikä zon halp. Ja siis mä... Mä voin, mä voin, mä voin räkätä inglisiä kielessä, mä kirjoitasin koikin inglisiä kielessä, mä en tiedä. Räkätä The first thing that is, like, a bit hard for a foreigner when it comes, is the language barrier. <laughs> But it's, it's learnable, you see? Like, you, after one or two years, it's, you can learn Estonian and... But the communication barrier is, is very, it's a bit more harder to learn. Because I remember during my first year, I think after six months, I called my manager for a meeting and said, I, I think you're very sad with me because, you know, like, I haven't heard anything from you and I think nobody likes me here. I don't get it. I said, no, you're doing great. It's just that, you know, it's not common for us to tell. Like, so if nobody tells you anything, you're doing good. If somebody <laughs> tells... <laughs> If somebody's telling you something, maybe it's like, I think they'll only tell you when you do something very bad or something. So this communication barrier is funny, but it's learnable. So the foreigner usually has to cross like the side and be more open than than the Estonian side. But at the same time, uh, comparing to other places, I don't know, Estonia is very friendly to the foreigners. Like it's very open to any kind of foreigners. There's no much prejudice or like they're usually interested about the other person and once you talk and once you're here so compared to other countries it's it's nice to be here like you're you're very welcoming and friendly and usually you don't hear that but Estonians are very friendly like and open like it just takes some time but they they usually do and um, some other interesting things that I noticed uh, that is different and bad. There's no beer o'clock. Have you heard of this? <laughs> beer o'clock? <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, after work, just, oh, let's go have a beer or something. And like, in some cultures, it's very strong. Like in UK, I have some friends working there, and it's like, they kind of work close to the pubs, and they after work straight to the pubs. It's very funny. And it was a shock for me when I was there. It was fun. And here is the opposite. Everybody kind of driving. If, if you were walking home, you could drink and go home walking. It would be better. <laughs> But here everybody's driving and say, no, I can't. So yeah, it's hard to socialize after work. But at the same time, there's some things here that people from other countries envy. That's like, you know, summer days, winter days, and Christmas parties. And there's some events here that when you talk to like other people from other countries, they say, what, like the company does that? And it's also a good chance to socialize with your co-workers. Like, you really meet a person when you're in the sauna with them and talking and stuff, or <laughs> drinking beers. Like, that's how you make, make friends here in Estonia. So it's, it's interesting that we don't have this that much in Brazil. And um, ah, another thing, yeah, that is, like, good and bad is the weather. <laughs> like, we were talking that, I think the weather makes uh, makes you, especially in the winter time, makes you focus a lot on work. Like you go to work and you get a cup of tea, and you're like, ah, now I'm warm, and you don't think about beach or sun or outside. And like in Brazil, it's always sunny, so it's you always have distractions, and it's, so it, it may be may be bad, but it's also good. So there's always like a positive side for it. Ah, one thing I wanted to say that I saw here, and it's not that common, like. There is a six or seven women here, uh, or eight in the room. So, women in IT in Estonia is like very good. Like the amount of women in IT, I think, is higher than other countries. So this is nice in Estonia, and it's it's like there are some projects. Like I think this year there was this uh, girls on rails or something, and there's some stuff to try to make the environment nicer, more welcoming for girls. And somehow in Estonia, the girls are more. I don't know, more proactive and more, they, they, they managed to, to join this male only environment. In Brazil, it's very seldom you see, in other countries as well, it's very seldom you see girls working in IT. So it's this one nice thing about here. Um, 
what else I wrote? Ah, yeah, we were talking about holidays. Like, first year that I was here, my, I was checking my friends on Facebook. Yeah, holidays, like Friday off. Uh, yeah. And in Estonia, we have very few holidays. And comparing, I don't know, to Italy or Poland, there's like these Catholic countries, they have a lot of holidays. <laughs> it's crazy. And in Estonia, it's, it's very dry the year, like you have to count. Like I think there's only 10 holidays. <laughs> but the good thing is that you have, the Christmas is very big, the, ho the Christmas holiday pack. So you can almost spend one full week like out, that's good. And in the Yanipayev as well, it's nice, like true. So you have a good packs of, of vacation, of holidays. It's, but the rest of the year is dry, it's very, like, it's, it's hard. In Brazil, I think every month we have at least one holiday on Friday, and sometimes on Thursday, and then we skip two days. And, <laughs> so, it's very, it's different. And, yeah, and other things like, Estonia is in general very hard working. And I like that the, there is this new law here in Estonia that you cannot accumulate vacations anymore. This is like, in Brazil, it's the opposite. Like, when I came, I, I, everybody was surprised that I was saying, okay, I want to take all my vacations all at once and you know, they make a big trip. And everybody was like, what? Like, here you take like one week of vacations or two weeks and you're, everybody's hard working. And in Brazil, we're planning as much vacations as we can. And like, it's this relationship between like, the vacations is different here in Estonia. It seems that you're more like working hard and like, you know, getting, like some friends said, getting rich and like make money and like... Uh, All winters. Yeah. And so, what else? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's some other things uh, that, for instance, in, in general, one thing that I really like and I tell everybody is like the Estonia, the people here in Estonia is very clever and is very like motivated as well. You see like this, this meetings here, these are very interesting. And I have some friends from university starting to do something similar, but now, and you, you guys started in 2006 or 2007. So it was like long time ago. Also the agile movement started here a long time ago, like before Brazil and you guys are really like clever. And the bad side of it is that a lot of my old co-workers were stolen, you know, by Google, Facebook. You know, like, it, they, they go abroad because, I don't know, they, they steal the bright minds of Estonia. So it's, it's hard itself for Estonia, like, because you, you have, like, few people, and these people are very clever, but they're stolen from other countries and stuff. And it's hard to bring people here, you know, like, to steal people back here. It's, it's not that easy. But do know, any questions about why you came here? I wanted something completely different from Brazil. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know about sauna, and it was scary the first time because <laughs> 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 you go with your whole company and everybody is naked and it's like, <laughs> okay, that's a cultural shock. <laughs> and, uh, but so, how people in Brazil socialize after work? During, for instance, one thing we do is lunchtime, it's usually two hours. We work from eight to six, but there's two hours lunch. And sometimes you go for a restaurant and spend a lot, long time in the restaurant talking. And also after work, you, there's always like one round of beers, usually on Friday people go for like some, some things like this, like just to socialize like this. There's also, people usually visit each other at home. Here is a bit different, like you, you don't have much friends coming that often. People just like to visit people at home and say, yeah, what's up? And, uh, some things like that. Plus, watching football, like, uh, it's like, ah, let's go watch football. That's like very good excuse to socialize in, <laughs> in Brazil. And yeah, so I came, I finished my, my university and I was very tired of like work and study and everything. I so said, I want something completely different. And like, Estonia seemed very different, like the weather and like <laughs> halfway across the world. And then, but I, I had several, like I had interviews with several countries, several different positions. And the ones that were more friendly were the Estonians. Like I had interviews with Germany, with Canada, with 
India. And the Estonians were the only one that asked, what's my hobby? And I was like, no, I was just finishing the university. I was like, what's my hobby? <laughs> like, that, like, you know, I prepared all the interview questions, but this one, I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> I had to think. And, this, and I said, ah, I, like, I used to sing in the high school. I said, ah, we have choirs here in Estonia and stuff. So it was, it was like, it, it su surprised me positively. And I joined the choir when I came, and it was very fun. So, yeah, it's, you usually think yourself very cold, but you're like, no, you're very warm and open and friendly. It's just maybe bad image or something, PR campaigns. <laughs> and, but it, in, in overall, like me and all the people that I met, the foreigners that came here, they were happy and they wanted to come back. Like I, I never met anybody that was like not happy that they came to Estonia. So either for work or for study or just for short travel, they usually liked the people and the place. So you, you can be proud. <laughs> Thank you. What was your first company?